Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel from the Royal Chester Review and another Unt of Frankish's Lande Beer. This one is from Brauerei Kesselring, located in Town Market Stift. And it comes in this Euro bottle shape, as you can see, which is a very traditional bottle shape to use for many Franconian breweries. And um, it, I can show you the uh, top cap, looking like this, and the uh, front label looking like this, Unt of Frankish's Lande Beer Hell. And yeah, uh, very traditional looking label, I would say, Ulfrankisches Landbierhell. Here is the top label, and here is the back label, of course, with some information. Uh, Ulfrankisches Landbierhell. So, um, this Brau Brauerei Kesselring, or Privat Brauerei Kesselring, from Marktstift in Unterfranken, is having uh, quite many beer stalls that they're brewing. Uh, this is one of them, the uh, Ulfrankisches Landbierhell. So, all those are tailed for an uh, Ulfrankisches Landbierhell, in my opinion. Uh, of course, Unterfranken is most known for its pills. Pills is most popular in that region. But uh, today I'm having this one from this brewery, which is going to be really interesting to try, and of course I'm looking forward to it a lot. Uh, so, it's going to be really interesting to see what uh, how it tastes um, and what it's all about. This uh, Landbierhell, Ufrenkisches Landbierhell from um, Kesselring. Of course, it's the first time in, uh, I'm having a beer from this brewery, as always. Uh, I'm gonna link to the brewery's website also in the description box below, but let's start with open up the bottle, like this. The Kesselring, Ufrenkisches Landbierhell, and pour it up into the further base style, well fitting glass, I would say. Always important to use the right type of glass. Uh, for the bear style, and I think this um, this glass fits this um, bear style very, very nice, actually. Um, I grab it, looking at it, it looks uh, real nice in my opinion, with its um, golden, pale golden color, and nice, maybe three finger white foam crown, thick white foam crown, as you can see. Very important to put up that and, and maintain it all the way through. Uh, looking really, really nice in my opinion. Um, very pale, golden yellow color, just as we can expect from a Ufrenkisches Landbier. So let's get the aroma, which is, of course, very fresh and nice, uh, well balanced between the the ingredients and the very fresh raw materials has been used. That's easy to fill in, in the aroma, in my opinion. Um, as I have been, as I said before, I have high expectations of this. The Kesselring uh, Ulfrenkische Landbier. So let's pour up the rest. Like that. Nice with a thick white foam head rising up far above the edge of the glass. And Let's give it a try. The Brauerei Kesselring Marktstift Urfränkisches Landbier Hell. Post. Yeah. Very nice, of course. Refreshing, well balanced. Um, it's having a typical uh, freshness that is very very typical for this beer style uh, Landbier Hell and uh, basically really really nice not as mild as a Bavarian Helles of course and not as uh, strong in taste as a Melzen or Export and definitely not as a Bock but it's just simply a great Landbier Hell in my opinion it's not I don't think it's unfiltered, so it's not having the Kello beer, Zwickel, uh, unfiltered Lan beer or Soigel taste, but it's just basically a really, really nice one. This Ulf Frankisches Lan from Bravari Kesselring, a real nice brewery also. It's not a, a very small brewery, to be honest, <coughs> if we're gonna use uh, Franconian standards. It's, um, 
maybe medium sized, I would say, to Franconian standards, of course. Uh, to German standards, international standards, it's of course small, but uh, to Franconian standards, I would say that it's quite medium sized. With, uh, I remember, 62,000 hectoliters per year, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this is a real well testing one in my opinion. Um, taking a closer look at the label, I really like the label by the way. Um, a picture here of the probably of the brew or, or of the town or something. Uh, an old Frankish Eslandbücher. Back label, like this. And it says, Old Frankish Eslandbücher, das helle aus dem Frankenland. Brauerei Kesselring, 97. 342 Mark Steft to Tatan Wasser Gerstenmals Hopfen. Alcohol content 5.0% volume. <coughs> yeah, that's the information on the bottle. So, <coughs> really nice one. I remember that I also have the double box from this um, series uh, of Frankisches Danbeer that is having a purple label and not a green one. Still, of course, I prefer Danbeer Hell, so. Let's make it uh, an easy choice to review this one from this brewery. Now, as you um, as you know, if you've been following my channel before, you know that I do have some books about Franklin breweries that uh, I like to show to you. Uh, for example, this book right here. And here you can see the Kesselring right here, brewery. Um, Familie Himmel, the Kesselring beer, the private brewery, founded 1688, um, Marktsteft. Here is the Pils, Landbier, Schlemmer, Weissbier, Schwarze und Kristall, Hell, Export, Stefan Leift, Bockbier, Steini, das geniale Bier, Premium Gold 1688. Alcohol fry and vice beer alcohol fry. And that's very many beers. Meist getrunken pills and an output 60,000 hectoliters. Uh, yeah, that's information from that book. <coughs> of course, I do also have um, another book which is also a really great book. It, it's this, this one right here. And here you can see Privat Brauerei Kesselring. Some information about it. And um, I'm gonna read through uh, 1688 Robert Stupak. 62,000 hectares. Tradition, Tradition und Brauchtum. Die Inhaberfamilie Himmel kam stolz auf eine Jahrzehnt lange Erfolgsgeschichte zurückblicken. Jahr um Jahr konnte der Bierausstoß der fast äh, 330-jährigen Braustätte vergrößert und dabei trotzdem die familiäre Note gehalten werden. So kümmert man sich intensiv und Mitarbeiterausbildung. Regelmäßig finden sich die innungsbesten im Hause Kesselring und lässt mit vielen Veranstaltungen auch das Leben in der Brauerei nicht zu kurz kommen. Beispielsweise kommen jährlich im Herbst über 100 Oldtimer zu einer Oldtimer Radio in Kitzingen oder das örtliche Vereinsgelände wird mit Hilfe der Brauerei zum Kesselring Sportpark ausgebaut. Sehr voll vorbildlich aus der Familie Firmen Zeitung, die wohl Mitarbeiter wie auch Gastronomiekunden portratiert. Äh, Hier können sich eine, Sche eine Scheibe anschneiden. Äh, der Klassiker Kesselring Premium Pills. <lacht> ja, das ist der Information from that uh, book. That's it. Hope I see you again in the next Procon and Review.